Speaking of getting in trouble, you know, these candidates, Josh, when they're out on the campaign trail, you never know what kind of question you're going to get, right? And so Marco Rubio was down in Charleston, South Carolina last night, where the uh, oldest person in the crowd, uh, a, a, a senior citizen, stood up and challenged Marco Rubio with what she thought would be the most important problem that he should face. Here she is. I would like to see marijuana legalized. <laughs> For this reason, people who live in Charleston can get drugs on any street corner. We could collect tax if they were legal. There you go. Boy, I, I'm sorry Peter's not here. He's from Charleston. Oh. Just to hear the pitch for legalization of marijuana from that southern voice. All right. <laughs> uh, now... First, this this lady, she's got a lot on the ball, right? I think I think she sees it. She sees the problems. She sees one possible solution. You would think a young guy like Marco Rubio might identify, right? Mm -mm. Well, especially when it's put in the, the context of that economic argument that people yeah. have been trying to make. You know, this is happening anyway. Let's regulate it, tax it. You know, it seemed to have uh, some uh, appeal to some parts of the Republican you know party. We've seen. Rand Paul and some others right. be a little bit more open to it, but Rubio is certainly not no. one of them. No, not one of them. In fact, here he is. Just throwing... This country already pays a terrible price for uh, alcohol and alcohol abuse, not just in health costs and traffic accidents and broken marriages and ruined lives. When you legalize something, you're sending the message that it's not that harmful. And the fact of the matter, it is harmful. It is a more powerful carcinogen than tobacco. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where he gets that more powerful carcinogen than tobacco. We need to do a fact tobacco. check on that. I think we do. Such I, I a think, downer. I think the fact check has already been done on that and proven to be not true at all. And also, I mean, didn't we go through prohibition and realize that you make something illegal? That doesn't. That's not the answer either. <laughs>